Todd Cutler has a large selection of reproduction daggers. Today, let's take a look at one of the most iconic late medieval daggers there is, the Rondell. Hello, this is Kyle, also known as Alien Tube, and this is going to be a relatively short review of the Todd Cutler Twisted Medieval Rondell Dagger. The Rondell Dagger is characterized by these two discs on either side of the grip, called Rondells. Now, sometimes they were multi-layered, made of multiple materials, sometimes metal discs. This one, as you can see, is multiple layered. Now, as I understand it, these were mostly considered knightly weapons, and they were one of the most important weapons in a knight's kit. All too often, combat wound up in close quarters, and your dagger is going to be the most effective tool in that situation. One of the most common techniques for fighting in full harness would be to grapple your opponent to the ground, take your dagger, and stab into the weak spots in the plate armor, such as in the armpit. Now these areas are still going to have mail underneath the, the armor, so the rondelle was designed with a very acute point and a thick spine to, for durability. This specific twisted rondelle dagger sells on Todd Cutler's website for £120, roughly $145. Sharpening adds an additional £10 or $12, although the website does say that final honing by the customer is expected to be done. Now, I bought this one secondhand and had it professionally sharpened as well, so I can't really comment on how the sharpening of Todd Cutler does. The daggers in the Todd Cutler line are sourced from China and I believe finished in the UK. If you happen to like the style, he does have his Todd's Workshop line, which is a much more expensive but handmade in the UK. The rondelles on this dagger are made from wood sandwiched between two plates of brass, and they're riveted together with steel pins here and brass pins up here. In addition, it is peened to the tang. This leads to a very sturdy construction, which also looks quite good in my opinion. The grip's also pretty attractive. It's carved into this twisted shape, which gives really good feel in the hand, and it's a very secure grip. I can, you know, if I do multiple stabbing techniques, it's not going anywhere. It works very well as a grip. Now before I forget, the dagger also comes with a pretty simple leather sheath with a brass shape. It can be dyed in a few different colors or come undyed, and it works pretty well for carrying on the belt. I wouldn't recommend uh, using it for long-term storage, however. Since it's a leather sheath, not a wood core scabbard, it just is not appropriate for preventing rust. The blade on this dagger, like I mentioned before, is extremely sturdy. It starts at nine millimeters thick and tapers down to just about three millimeters right at the tip. This, it leads to a triangular cross section, which is incredibly stout, but that combined with the prominent secondary bevel does limit the cutting ability of this dagger quite a bit. It's just too obtuse of an angle to really slice very well. Now there are techniques in used in HEMA that involve cutting with a rondelle dagger, but there's a lot more that involves stabbing because these are thrust-focused staggers first. The blade is 12 and a half inches long, and the entire dagger weighs in at one pound six ounces. The blade itself is finished in a fairly rough satin polish, and you can see quite a few grind lines still on it. I have polished it a couple times since I've owned it, so it's probably a bit shinier than what you would expect in a brand new. And with that, let's take a look at some cutting footage.
as I was saying earlier, aces at stabbing, not so good at cutting. That's pretty much exactly what I would expect for a rondelle. So now it's time to talk bottom line. Is this rondelle worth the roughly 150 US dollar price tag? Yeah, I think it is. There's not a whole lot of budget, historically accurate medieval daggers available out there, and Todd Cutler is pretty much the premier source for them. I think this one is quite the looker, functions very well at its intended use, and it rounds out a knightly weapon set very well. And that's going to bring this review to a close. Thank you for watching, and until next time, Alien Toot out.